Welcome to San Francisco. If you like what you're watching, please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring the bell so you can see more of our content. This is the story of McKenna Travels. Come join us as we show you how we do it. So I highly recommend when you guys come to San Francisco to try to ride the trolleys. You have to download the app. It's eight dollars for one ride from one point to the other one, and hop on. They take you on a really good experience. These are built in the late 1800s. Really great way to see the city. Highly, highly recommended. around I guess I don't know what to say McKenna's like this is an old beat up cable car and it's slower than taking an Uber actually really cool experience never done one I've kind of always wanted to do one so pretty cool it's a neat way to see the city I don't think there's any other better way to sightsee San Francisco we don't need a night like cause we are already glowing in your lifetime no one was ever showing you what we're showing tonight Watch your young eyes light up the night sky We ain't even scared of the monsters in our cars that's been made up We ain't had enough tonight yeah. Watch your young eyes light up the uh, night sky yeah. Because if we're famous Cause the stars already know what our name is And it's starting to align We'll be lighting Dragon's Gate marks the southern entrance to San Fran's Chinatown we'll tame us. No fear, we ain't scared of danger Tell me so uh, 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 so this the ramen place that we went to yesterday and I really like it and we're going back to it yes I'm angry so oh, I want to go back to it and we're going back to it today so basically it's our last day and she is laser focused to having doesn't want to try anything else the ramen from this place in Chinatown it's not yeah. even Chinese food it's Japanese but We are in the middle of Chinatown, San Francisco, and it is beautiful. And we're gonna go visit. This is cool. We're gonna go visit the Fortune Cookie Factory. Thank you, Adventure Granny, because we're here because you recommended it. So now we're gonna go check out the Fortune Cookie Factory. When you come to Chinatown, make sure to stop in at the Golden Gate Fortune Cookie Factory. The business has been here since 1962 and has been making a custom fortune cookies by hand ever since it first opened. Stop in to sample some of the unique flavors and toppings. San Francisco Chinatown, such a vibrant, energized place and obviously you can still feel the effects after the pandemic there's a lot of businesses that are still closed there's really no people here for being the summertime but i still highly recommend if you're in san francisco come and drop by because it's a wonderful place this is one of the oldest and most established chinatowns in the u.s and is one of the most popular attractions in san francisco If you want to grab a drink with a view, make sure to stop in at the top of the mark located inside the Intercontinental Mark Hopkins Hotel. We are 
are at the top of the mark on top of the intercontinental San Francisco. In 1939, the hotelier and owner George D. Smith transformed the 19th floor penthouse suite of the Mark Hopkins Hotel into a glass-walled cocktail lounge with a 360-degree view of San Francisco. It is a must-see destination for visitors from all over the world who come for the breathtaking views of San Francisco and the Bay, and perhaps even a rendezvous with nostalgia. During World War II, servicemen would buy and leave a bottle in the care of the bartender so the next soldier from their squadron could enjoy a drink. The only requirement being that whoever had the last sip would buy the next bottle. Alright guys, we're going to the Academy of Science San Francisco Museum. We are going to stop in one of McKenna's favorite places today, the California Academy of Sciences. Museum hours are Monday through Saturday, 9.30 a.m. to 5 p.m. and Sunday, 11 a.m. to 5 p.m. Entry prices vary depending on the time of day, but for one adult, it's approximately $40 USD. So we are inside the Bidon, inside the Museum of Science in San Francisco. And what a difference of temperature between out there and in here. It feels like a jungle. McKenna, what does it feel like? Australia. It's supposed to be the rainforest. No. It feels like Brisbane, Australia, where we live. Best butterfly. That one was just chilling there. Did you get a good shot? Yeah. You're gonna have to send me that one so I can put it on. Okay. This biodome really is a very cool place to check out the different temperatures across the globe. So humid in here and the variety of trees and animals and birds and butterflies compared to San Francisco outside. Really cool place. My favorite exhibit is the lush four-story rainforest. Inside you get to see free-flying birds, exotic reptiles, amphibians, orb weaver spiders, Amazonian fish, and lots of beautiful butterflies. With 1.2 million fish specimens from around the world, the California Academy of Sciences collection represents a significant crocs section of aquatic life. The Steinhardt Aquarium is one of the most biologically diverse and interactive aquariums on Earth. Since 1923, the Steinhardt Aquarium has developed a colorful history of firsts, from becoming the first public aquarium to displaying flashlight fish and coconut octopuses to advancing exploration of the ocean's mysterious twilight zone. The swamp is a great exhibit to see and explore a southeastern swamp habitat. It's home to snapping turtles and quad, the beloved alligator who is albino.
We also enjoyed the Naturalist Center upstairs, which is home to hundreds of specimens and has hands-on science activities for kids. And then if you get a chance, you must walk up and check out the rooftop where they have a lot of different plants being grown. So we're here guys and we obviously have been kind of with us, but what's really cool about this museum here in San Francisco is they actually set it up and there's a full stage to do like a 21 and up night where you can drink alcohol, they've got a bar, they've got live music, and I think they also do overnights here. So you can actually buy the 21 and up to sleep here overnight, which is really cool. Like you want a real night at the museum, you can get one here in San Francisco. Next week on McKenna's Travels, we visit the world famous Pier 39. We enjoy some sightseeing around the bay and we visit the majestic Golden Gate Bridge. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to our channel and leave us a comment below.